BL Tap Room. I'm Lee from the Oshkosh Beer Blog. Here we are today. When did, have you, how many Oktoberfests have you drank so far? Like uh, quantity or uh, well, no, different? Like, uh, like we're at the end of uh, I mean, 200 August, quantity we're into and, September. Uh, and uh, like when did, have you had Oktoberfest? Yes, yeah, okay. I've had several. How many, uh, how many pumpkin beers have you had so far? None, and I'm, I tend to keep it that way. <laughs> I'm not a big pumpkin yeah, guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you, but on the other hand, I love Oktoberfest. I do too. The first one I had was July 23rd. Wow. I was up at uh, Central Waters in Oso, and both breweries had Oktoberfest beers on. Is that, is that a record for uh, the I early, think earliest that's the day? earliest I have ever had an Oktoberfest. Yeah. But I mean, I, I used to never do that. Yeah. I used to wait. Yeah. But I love the I'm style of beer. Yeah, yeah. Which, so... We've been putting out on Facebook uh, before we do the show what we're going to discussion do, topics. And yeah. um, this week, when we put it out there, we we were talking about seasonal creep, which is when beers uh, come out well before the season when mm -hmm. they're traditionally brewed for. And we got a ton of feedback yeah. on that. And a lot of people are, you know, have some strong opinions about it. Yeah. So, so where, what was the, what do you think the evolution uh, or advent of seasonal creep was, or why, why did it? come about. I'm glad you asked that because I think we have the answer. So Kirby Nelson, who's the brewmaster and vice president of uh, Wisconsin Brewing Company, chimed in when we put this out there and he said, um, Oktoberfest is not a recent victim of seasonal creep. I've been brewing them since 1988. The August release of these beers became dictated by the German imports of this style. They would begin to flood the market with these beers in early August. The majority of a seasonal beer sales is in the first month of release, so we felt we had to play follow the leader if we wanted to have the strongest sale of our, our Oktoberfest possible. And huh. so he, he, you know, Kirby's been brewing these longer than anybody yeah. in Wisconsin. Yep. As early as 88, it sounds mm. like that they were already having to start doing this. Yeah. Um, and I, I really don't remember a time <laughs> when they did come out in like September. Or yeah. Or it seemed yeah. like they were always out pretty early. Okay, so it's kind of a misnomer. Yeah, well, <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> but you know, I mean the whole idea of seasonal beer is, you know, how these came about is because that's when they could brew them. Mm -hmm. Like, so this is a Marzen style beer, which, you know, in Germany, like beginning in the 1500s, they had this law where they couldn't brew beer from uh, the end of April to the beginning of September. It was sure. you know, forbidden. So they would brew these, these were the last beers they brewed towards the end of the brewing season, and then they'd release them, you know, in when summer was over, yeah. part of the Oktoberfest celebration mm -hmm. and all that. But the reason they did that is because they didn't have mechanical refrigeration. You know, so summer was very difficult to brew lager beer. Mm -hmm. um, you know, now that you have mechanical refrigeration, <coughs> you can you can brew a beer you anytime you yeah. want. You know, so but the one we have here is from Aelison. Yeah, o Octillion. Octillion. Yeah, and uh, this is the first lager that they've um, they've ever sold in bottles. I mean, they did some draft lagers, but uh, first. Well, time I, that was kind of going through my head because they're obviously known for. Big beers, hoppy beers, you know, they're not brown as kind of maybe an exception, but this tastes very nice. Yeah, for uh, for a, a lager. Yeah, I like it. It's a six percent beer. Um, they're using Munich malt, mm -hmm. um, it's a Vienna malt, uh, Hallertau hops, and that hop thing, it's subtle, mm -hmm. but it, I think it comes through. It's got that nice kind of herbaly sort of. It does, but this has a really beautiful malt flavor. Yeah, it really, really does. Rich. Well, the, the the we kind of have a connection to this, so. Uh, the, the brewer at Ale Asylum that put together the recipe is Joe Waltz, who used to be a brewer here. Joe Walsh? Waltz. W-A-L-T-S. He's a great guy. Um, he used to be a okay. assistant brewer. <laughs> yeah, Joe Walsh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he was an assistant brewer at um, Fox River Brewing Company. Here. Okay. And this is his recipe. And he kind of went for more of, like, you know, you think of uh, Oktoberfest as being darker beers. This is yeah. a bit paler. That was the only... And, and when I when I when we poured these beers, I looked at the color. I thought, okay, this is, is this a fest beer? Or is it a Ameritzen? And despite the lighter color, it has a really rich rich malt flavor. Yeah, it really does. I yeah, think that, that Munich malt really comes yeah. up. In it. And if if you go to Oktoberfest now in Germany, this is what you get. Mm -hmm. They're paler now. That started happening. I think the first one was in the 70s. By the 1990s, yeah. all, almost all those Oktoberfest beers are now are that pale mm -hmm. color. But I mean. The flavor, it's pretty unmistakable. It's yeah, October. Yes, yeah. they did a great job. I like this one a lot. Exactly. I, I like. How do you feel about it? Do you? Uh, I mean, do you care? What about 
seasonal yeah, in like, general. But like if you see something, you, you know, know, I I'm, I get a lot of irritated looks from my my salespeople when we talk about seasonal beer because I'm just not generally interested at all. I mean, I. I mean, you should drink good beer whenever you want and not, you know, obviously, you know, if you want lighter beers in the summer, refreshing beers are great and heavier beers in the winter, but otherwise, you know, throw the rule book out the window for the most part. But, you know, something like pumpkin beer uh, is just, it's not, it's not something we, we handle too much. I mean, I'll, I'll handle a small amount, but it just, the, the seasonality of pumpkin beer in general is just, it, it's such a tight window that even when they start in July, you know, yeah, yeah. just... If you get hung with it, how are you going to sell a pumpkin beer after, you know, then you're stuck. after Thanksgiving, then you're stuck. you know? Well, and, like, R.J. Nordland, who's the brewmaster at um, Bare Bones Brewery here in Oshkosh, mm -hmm. chimed in about that. He said, seasonal beers are really a thing of the past. People are going to drink what they like regardless of season if it's available. I could make an imperial stout in the middle of summer, and some folks would still come in and drink it. I think that's kind of the way things yeah. are going. It's, yeah, you know, exactly. I, I don't, like, I used to wait mm -hmm. for October. I, I love October. I just love that style of beer. And I used to wait. I wouldn't, like, start drinking until September, you know. Um, but, you know, it occurred to me eventually that they're out there. This is as fresh as they're going to be. You know, they're, the, yeah. the beers are at their peak. So I, I just started to so why not jump yeah, in. I, I well, and they are great beer. I mean, if you, if you take the Oktoberfest moniker out of it, I mean, it's, it's a great kind of medium-bodied, yeah. medium, medium, full-bodied beer. You know, why not? I've had a few uh, really good ones here. Okay. Um, the Lazy Monk one that you have on tap right yeah. now, that's fantastic. Yeah, really that's, that's great. a great beer. And I was at Dublin's uh, this past weekend and had Patron Saint from Wisconsin Brewing Company. And that's another one. Yeah. Yes, I'm um, it's like a style that, you know, it's really drinkable, but yeah. it's still satisfying. It's not, doesn't feel lighter, you know. No, I mean, that's that's where it's it's not as heavy as kind of like a, a Bach or Doppelbach. Um, I don't know, it just hits all the right notes for me, so I, I always do like Oktoberfest and wish, you know. I, and, like, for whatever reason, like, as summer starts ending, mm -hmm. summer's, I, summer I really get into hoppy beers. I like drinking beers that yeah. have some, like, you know, hop flavor it's to kind it. kind of harkens in uh, fall. Yeah, and I kind of start going that way. All mm -hmm. of a sudden I'm, like, craving malty or something. Yeah. This one really hits the spot. I like yeah. that. Yeah, agreed. Check it out. Yeah, it's a great beer. Yeah. Okay, all right, cheers. Prost.